All right, I'm gonna show you how to add someone to your Wix site as a contributor. This is not someone who's going to be a member. This is not going to be someone who uh, is just subscribing to a blog. This is a person who is you are giving access to to be able to make changes on the back end of the website or to your blog um, or to your billing, things like that. So. Uh, if that's what you want to do, you're, you found the right video. First thing first, go on ahead and open up your desired, uh, browser and go to Wix. Your dashboard is going to look different than mine. My, mine is a partner dashboard. Yours would be a normal user dashboard dashboard, but nevertheless, find the website you're wanting to add someone to click select site. And this get, gets you into the website dashboard. Um, now what you're going to do on the left side, go to settings, and then you're going to find roles and permissions right here. It might be in a different place for you. Top right, then there's going to be a button that appears, invite collaborators, collaborators, collaborators. There's so many fun ways to say it. All right. I'm going to paste in the uh, email that I want, which that is not the right email. Anderson mail test. I'm gonna add that person in. Now here's the question. What kind of access do you wanna give them? And you can actually customize a role if you want. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna to need to give someone manager access or designer access. Um, if you want them to be able to make changes to your billing information, that can be very helpful, especially if you're working with uh, you know, an actual, uh, someone who's maintenancing your website, they're gonna to wanna to be able to make those changes if necessary. Um, another thing you can do is if you have uh, the CMS up and running, uh, this can be very helpful for that if you just want them to be able to edit the basic information there. Um, if you just want someone to be a blog writer, this is really good. If you just want somebody to help with your store, your point of sales, it's great. Um, so there's quite a few options here. Um, like for instance, billing roles, this would be great for your bookkeeper or accountant to have access to. Um, okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose admin, uh, which gives them so many rights. The only thing they can't do is transfer the site and they can't delete, delete or transfer. I'm going to hit send invite. Now here's the thing. As soon as I send it, I'm going to say, it doesn't really matter what you choose here. Um, send it. It's pending. It needs to be accepted. So I'm going to open up that email here. Pretend that I'm that person receiving it. There it is. I have to, this person that you've sent it to has to go in and accept the invite. Now, most likely the person you send it to probably doesn't have a Wix account. So they're going to create a free, it's a free account because the hosting on the accounts has already been paid for by you. And now they just need to go in and create a free account and they're good to go. Um, so that's it. They need to go through these steps. Really simple process. Confirm their email after this and they're good to go. And that is how you add someone as a contributor to your Wix website.